Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at this interesting example. We have been given that ABCD is a square of side of length 1 unit. Two circles C1, C2 of equal radii are drawn inside the square such that they are touching each other and C1 touching the sides AB, BC and C2 touching the sides CD and DA. So we have two circles here. This is C1 circle, the first circle. Second circle is C2 circle. They are, they are drawn inside the square of side 1 unit in such a way that the C1 circle touches AB, BC and also touches the C2. C2 circle touches CD, DA and also touches the C1. So this is our C1 and this is the C2 circle. C1 and C2 circle we have. Okay. What we have to find out? We have to find out the radius. Now once we are able to understand that this is how the diagram will be, everything becomes pretty easy. We know that the line joining the centers will be always a straight line and we also know that they are touching the they are touching the sides of the square. So what we can say? We know that this angle is 90 degrees. We also know this angle is 90 degrees. So this is 90. We also know in square always all the angles are 90 degrees. So we can see a square forming there. And we also know the distance between two centers is equal to radius 1 plus radius 2. But all the radius are equal. So we will say the radius is R. R. Okay. Right. So how we will solve this? First we will say if how to find out the length of BD first. To find out the length of BD we know that a square diagonal is equal to root 2 of side or by Pythagoras theorem 1 square plus 1 square is 2 root 2. So we know that BD is equal to square root of 1 square plus 1 square which is equal to root 2. We know BD is equal to root 2. Now also can we express BD in terms of R? What will be BD? We will start from BD equal to can I say D and this is D to let us say this point is C2. Okay, fine. I will just erase the C2 on the other side. So this C will take it out here. We will write them inside the center. So we will say this is C2 and this point is C1. So I can come back now and I can say BD equal to DC2 plus C2 C1 plus B C1 or I can say C1 B. But we know that these two are squares and we know the distance between C1 and C2 and we have been told that they are equal radii. So can I write down BD root 2 equal to DC2 we will not write it we will leave it C1 C2 we know C1 C2 is 2R so I will say 2R plus DC2 plus B C1 now root 2 equal to 2R plus C2 D is nothing but diagonal of the square whatever we are forming let us say if this is E and this is F then C2 E D F is a square and its diagonal is given by C2 D and C2 square we know that all the lengths are equal to radius so it's nothing but equal to again diagonal of the radius R diagonal of the square of side R so it will be nothing but root 2 to R plus bc1 equal to root 2 to r. How we got that? Let me just simplify here and give in detail. We have a square now. This is d and this is c2. We know it's a square 
and we know all the sides are equal to radius so if all sides are equal to diagonal will be how much root 2 into side or root 2 r that is what we have written there so let's go to the last step we will have root 2 equal to 2 r plus 2 root 2 into r or can I say root 2 equal to 2 into I can take r common we want to find out the value of r so I will say root 2 equal to r into I can say 2 r into root 2 plus 1 which will be nothing but r equal to root 2 2 by Two into root two plus one. We can leave it here R value or we can rationalize it by multiplying with root two minus one. And you can simplify that further or we can just leave it as root two equal to two R plus 2 root 2 r or r equal to root 2 by 2 into root 2 plus 1 or root 2 by 2 plus 2 root 2. So the important thing in this particular problem is we have to understand the diagram correctly. We have been given ABCD is a square of side length 1 unit. Two circles equal radii are drawn inside square such that they are touching ABBC and also the other circle first circle C1. The second circle is touching CDDA and the circle C1. So then we see that the line joining the centers will be nothing but the will be part of the diagonal of the square and we know 1 and 1 so diagonal is root 2 and also we know that since the circle is touching AB and BC we will have 90 degrees angle there and we are getting two squares and the distance what we want C2D or BC1 is nothing but equal to the diagonal of the square of side R so it becomes root 2 R so then we can simplify and find out the value of R that's what I thought of sharing with you so once again I'll see you with another interesting example Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.